Dan says, I have many friends but feel lonely. From the outside, I'm Mr. Popular, yet every single friendship feels shallow. How to transition to fewer, closer friends? Well, it's hard to say, Dan, because I don't know the specifics of your situation. I mean, you sound like an extroverted person, and extroverted people like to be in the center of a large group of people. And, you know, they like parties, and they like to tell jokes, and they're energized by social interactions. And so they can have a fairly large group of friends where their attention is spread across many people. One of the consequences of that can be this feeling that you have that the friendships are shallow because there's not much to them. The first question might be, well, you know, do you have an intimate relationship? Because a fair bit of the depth of human interaction comes as a consequence of long-term committed relationships, right? With your wife or your husband or your parents or your siblings or your children. And so I would say the true depth in relationship is generally to be found within family. That doesn't mean that friends aren't important. And the next issue is, well, are there things that you're doing with your friends? Are there activities that you're undertaking with your friends that are more significant than mere casual amusement? You know, or is it just casual amusement? Because if it is, you know, the bar scene or that kind of party life, let's say, the friendships aren't going to be very deep because they're not. They're predicated on shallow activities. And so it may be that you need to find some activities that you feel are profound on your own and find people that you can share them with. Because a fair bit of friendship is, in fact, the engagement in shared activity. And so the more profound the activity, at least in principle, then perhaps the more profound the friendship. Certainly the people whose friendships I would regard as most crucial to me are people with whom I'm involved in complex and difficult endeavors, as well as friendships. There are things that we are doing together that we both regard as of crucial importance. And I think that's necessary because I think that a fair bit of friendship, apart from, you know, the part that's amusement and fun, which is important, is a consequence of the profundity of shared activities. And so you might want to ask yourself, you know, are you doing anything with anyone that you regard as important? The other thing I would ask is, well, you know, do you have an assortment of intimate relationships? Do you have a partner, a wife or a husband? Do you have children? And are you spending enough time attending to your parents and your siblings to keep those relationships alive with holidays and with visits and that sort of thing. That's where you find the relationships that generally speaking are deep and meaningful and lasting, even though they're often the ones that are also the most problematic.